for us and in our partnership, um, ensuring that we approach the work with a, a historical perspective. So not seeing informality just for what it is today, but trying to understand the historic forces and factors that contributed to it, I think helps us understand either the, the role the state can have or in change and has had in a vested interest for some to keep the status quo. Uh, so understanding, for example, the role of colonial policies, uh, segregation, land segregation, uh, that have limited development to certain areas and limited the state from seeing the opportunity to open up new land for development, for the poor, uh, and for inclusion. Um, the infrastructure that's been developed really um, to not serve everyone. Um, and the original old you know, colonial infrastructure being built to extract resources from uh, the region rather than serve the people uh, to move around and to access services. So again, trying to understand the historical precedence to today's informality and the role that the state has had or colonial powers have had in shaping that and the role of the state or the, the lack of response today, I think helps us see where are the gaps or where are the opportunities uh, to weigh in. Um, I think for me, anywhere in the world, including Kenya and Nairobi, where we've worked and been partners, the, at the foundation of any change has to be community mobilization and community organizing uh, and bringing community members together to share their stories, to hear their voice, and to acknowledge their expertise and, and uh, their local knowledge. Uh, I think that's the key resource to bring to political circles and the state. Without that, you can have all the technical data you want, but it's not going to, I think, uh, move the state to act uh, without the, the social mobilization. So I think um, that's at the heart uh, and a key piece of Mangano, uh, 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 the way I understand it as a movement. Um, so I think you know, how we can support that work through uh, whether it's information, data collection, collaborative research, um, thinking about capturing people's stories and narratives in ways that can be uh, used in advocacy and, and in collaborating or confronting state power, uh, I think is uh, something that you know, moving forward needs to happen. I think um, something that we are interested in, in partnering with you more on is thinking through how, um, how you capture your success and the gaps, uh, valuation, how to do that in a participatory way that feeds back kind of an ongoing conversation to the social movement. Um, not the kind of evaluation that academics would traditionally do, which is, okay, we've worked together for three years, let's do a report and tell you what you should have done three years ago. It really doesn't help anybody too much. Um, but if we can find ways of doing formative or participatory evaluation uh, and tracking what's working or not working as we go, um, I think that could be a role uh, that our partnership could, could do together uh, as we move forward.